everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your remaining month of May reading start from the 22nd through the 31st of May 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. So let's find out what is coming up for you guys for the remaining month of uh, May starting today. I will be adding Oracle deck in this reading so stay tuned and um, while I'm shuffling the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick whatever is resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And um, you can also check out my Urdu channel where I do uh, upload Hindi readings. Um, I will add the link to that channel in the comment section for the viewers who wanted to see the readings in Hindi slash Urdu. Um, you can also check out my sister's channel. I will add the link to her channel too in the comment section. And if you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's get started and let's find out what is heading towards you for the remaining month of May. Let's begin. Seven of Arms paired up with Six of Pentacles. Somebody's uh, soon going to realize that they have been investing their time and energy into wrong thing, wrong person, wrong relationship. It can be in any area of your life. It doesn't have to be a love specific, but it can be. It can be a work specific. It can be love specific for some of you. It can be a home specific for some of you. It can be your own individual journey as well. Maybe you've been investing your time and energy to, you know, uh, giving it to one thing. Maybe, you know, you started a course or study or something and uh, now you're realizing that it's not working out well for you. So it's, it's that energy where you are feeling fed up of putting the effort into it and you really want to invest your time and energy into something else um for others of you i feel like you know you will be uh, feeling the need to walk away from something because you would feel that you are not being appreciated you are not being appreciated for the efforts that you've been investing into it for for the uh, hard work for for the for the good work maybe um if it applies to your love life situation you would feel like you know your person is not valuing you you know it's a it's a this person is not giving you enough time and energy and you have been always there for them, but they never take you as their priority. So the situation is going to be different for different people. But yeah, uh, I do see you getting done with some sort of uh, uh, situation where you feel like being taken for granted. It can be a work situation, home situation. Um, plus, you know, it could be your own thing that you really are getting fed up of something that you find no passion for any longer. So um, it can be leaving a job and go, going for another one. It can be changing your field. Uh, it could be changing your career. Maybe you have been, you know, into marketing and you really don't like it any longer. So maybe you're going to choose to go for something else. So it's going to be that kind of a situation, uh, especially in the first few days of the remaining month, like 22nd through the 25th of uh, May 2020. Let's find more cards. Let's see what is coming up for you. The sun paired up with four of cups. As you realize that, as you make up your mind, you are going to get the better opportunity. You are going to get an idea which is going to brighten up your whole day or whole life. Um, if you are in a relationship which is kind of, you know, getting toxic, you are not getting appreciation, you are not getting love. The moment you decide that you deserve something better, you will start getting something better. It can be coming from the same person, but... Um, Again, you really have to realize that whatever you're putting your effort into, is it worth it or is it like, you know, does it even deserve you or your love or your care or your passion or your, you know, uh, your motivation. So as soon as you have a realization around it and you choose to walk away from it, something's going to change. For some of you, you are going to meet someone new. For others of you, you're going to find that the person is going to start, you know, valuing you because they are going to feel the fear of, uh, you know, losing you. So it's again, it's going to be different for different people. But I do see that, you know, um, as you move towards the end of the or the second half of the remaining month, like around after the 25th of uh, May, things are going to change for you. You are going to get the opportunities where, you know, uh, uh, where you would feel that there is some sort of, um, you know, um, there is some sort of, you know, good things that you can look forward to. And um, that's going to bring you happiness. That's going to, you know, bring you uh, back to uh, your energetic you. So, um, yeah, for those of you who are stuck in a relationship with you, where you feel like, you know, the other person is like, you know, not taking care of you and you are feeling like, you know, you are stuck in a toxic situation, being always on the waiting side and never being taken, you know, uh, uh, always being taken for granted. It's high time that you walk away from it because you really deserve love, care, passion. And... If you don't get it there, 
you really need to understand that you know they don't deserve you they don't deserve you there and you don't deserve that at all so you really have to move away from that situation um but you have to stay very positive about it like you know if you are taking a step for yourself you really have to be sure that you are deserving of something good something better than what you are getting right now if you think like maybe i don't deserve it or maybe you know hi uh nobody likes me or i'm never being appreciated and all those if you if you go from that mindset it's not it's not going to happen it's not going to come and bring happiness to you so you really have to see the positive aspect of it even if you are leaving something behind even if you are walking away from some some relationship which is toxic whatever it is that you are leaving behind you really have to leave it behind with a positive mindset that yes you are worthy of more than this so definitely you will get more than this as well are you the day you do have the justice definitely you will get the justice because i do see some sort of happiness coming up for you be that from the same person organization whatever it is but yes you will be appreciated you will be kind of um, um given love and care but after they are you know going to have the fear that they might lose you so I don't know maybe for some of you 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 are going to stick to that one thing maybe you are going to feel like okay fine let me give it another try maybe if uh, if they value me this time around maybe I will stick to them or I will I will stay but uh, if they don't then I will move away so it's going to be different for different people maybe for some of you staying in that situation could be good for others of you maybe it's not going to bring you the emotional satisfaction because uh I will, I will take a clarify for that. Underneath the deck, you do have the justice. Underneath that, the page of wands. Underneath that, the ace of cups. Okay, let's take one more card. Ace of swords. I think it's going to be a satisfying, you know, decision. Whether whether you choose to stay, whether you choose to accept and give them another chance, I feel like you know it's going to give you the emotional satisfaction. Maybe they were taking you for granted because you allowed them to take you for granted. Be that in your love life, work life, home life situation, you really have to have that thing for yourself. if you don't value yourself nobody else in the world will value you so you really need to understand that if you believe that you are worthy uh, you will be you know uh, valued if you believe and you know you always have this you know negative vibe around you that maybe i don't deserve it and all those you know the feeling of lack of everything then people do catch the vibe that you are sending out so you really have to be sure that there is i feel like you know the moment the reason why it's going to happen the moment you take a step back is because the other person is going to start feeling that you know you are getting detached you are you know going away from them so that's going to you know get them in an alarming situation for some reason which is why they are going to start you know valuing uh, you again so let's take oracle card let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys for the remaining month of may let's see what is coming for you guys for the remaining month of may courage you really have to have the courage to go for what you believe in have the courage to stand up for yourself have the courage to um to believe in yourself like you know you really need to believe that you can have you can do you can be um instead of having fears and doubts instead of you know feeding always your fears and doubts um and you know always taking yourself for granted um so as the card suggest uh you are safe fear is an illusion set strong boundaries you really have to set strong boundaries um so it never happens with you again if you have been taken for granted uh in the past uh because you uh, again if if you are not value uh, if you don't value yourself no, nobody else in the world is going to value you so you really need to have that vibe you if you if you expect love you really have to love yourself if you expect respect you really have to respect yourself you cannot get what you are not so it's it's like the more you're going to be in the positive vibe the more positive things you're going to attract so it's it's again the same thing so you really have to um if you want people to value you you really have to show them that you are worthy of that value and um you have to go with that firm belief that you deserve it and you don't have to settle in for less than that so if if and only if you could do that um if you if and only if you could have courage enough to it's just more like you know strengthening yourself your inner confidence is is what i'm picking up is going to help you a lot be that in your love life situation that you might be dealing with you really have to have that firm uh thing coming from within you where you know that you you know the love that you have for this you know other person they they should value it instead of you know uh taking uh, your love and care for granted 
if it applies to your work life situation you they really need to value you for the effort and for the hard work that you've been putting into it so again it's uh, it's all going to happen if and when you are going to change yourself towards the way you are being treated by this person organization whatever it is and the moment you change that they are going to change towards you as well so yeah um that's pretty much it coming up for you for the remaining month of uh, may if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye